Hello there, my Scorpio collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Scorpio? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Scorpios. What's going on with you, Scorpios? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Scorpio collective. Scorpio, what is going on in your energy? Please and thank you, spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Bottom of the deck, Scorpio, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Sit your ass down. Stay calm, cool, collected. Uh, temperance here, the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, I feel like you need to be doing some personal healing here, okay? Uh, this Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant. You see this Temperance? Uh, this, this feels like you're getting... Um, any spiritual doubt, any any sort of, uh, what's the word here, confusion you might be having. I think you're going to be getting uh, kind of blessed. You're going to be understanding how things go. I feel for a lot of you, this energy is actually going to be kind of condensed down. You're going to be able to release this confusion, this sort of sadness, any type of uh, restrictive energy, especially emotionally balanced. Um, a balancing out of your emotions. You see that, like the uh, guidance. Uh, things are gonna uh, be cleared out. Things are gonna be sorted out. You're gonna go from seven of cups here to the five of cups down to this one cup. But that's only once you start giving to yourself. You start trusting uh, your higher purpose, your higher calling, your higher. Um, uh, your higher thought processes. So keep it positive, Scorpios. Uh, King of Pentacles here. Three of Cups. And a Devil card. So some of y'all could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn. We got Earth sign Capricorn energy here. That Three of Cups. What's beneath that? The World card. What crowns that? The Seven of Swords. And what... What crosses over between them two? The Eight of Cups. Uh, this is why you're going to have to focus on yourself here, Scorpio. Okay? This King of Pentacles energy. You've been watching a situation. Some of you could have been uh, watching people. You could be out there around people. You could be feeling some sort of way. You could be feeling left out in the cold. A little confused. A little wondering why. Those of you, when it comes to love, when it comes to your heart and your emotions, right? So you could be feeling a sort of uh, certain sort of way. We got the Three of Cups here with the Devil card. Underneath that, we got the World card. Some of y'all could be talking to somebody online. Some of you all could be picking up uh, some negative energy from online. Uh, I feel like this could be some uh, negative energies because we got the Seven of Swords crown in it. So there's some sort of not happy energy going on here, Scorpio. Whatever the fuck it is in your situation, I feel you are the outsider. This King of Pentacles looking in. This is like, it ain't your business. Some of y'all, you know, you should be off of social media or restricting what you post and restricting how much time you spend on there. Focus on you. That's when that temperance energy comes in. You got to walk away and find your own. Now, we got the Eight of Cups here. Now, y'all. The strength to go out and find your own happiness with that Nine of Cups. You see that? That Eight of Cups goes to the Nine of Cups. The strength to go out and be you. The strength to go out and create what's yours. The strength to go out and kind of be single. Look at her. She looks like she's single as fuck out there at the club having a good old time, right? This feels like that, uh, <laughs> uh, making, making amends, making, uh, uh, hugging their shadow side. You know what I mean? Doing the work, right? 
I love this energy, Sagitt uh, Sagittarius. Well, some of y'all that uh, Sagittarius energy, temperance, okay? Um, maybe some of y'all are dealing with the Sagittarius. A definitely heavy Capricorn here, that devil energy, the world card, the three of cups, the seven of swords. So, you know, uh, don't pay any attention to the negative energies, okay? Don't pay any attention to the negative comments. Don't pay any attention to anyone trying to send negativity your way. It's going to be up to you. Learn to fill your own cup and go get your own wish fulfillment. Some of y'all, you're going to be single, okay? You're going to be single. You got to fill that own cup, your own cup for a while. Especially if you're dealing with uh, some sort of negative energies online. Watch your online presence. Watch what you do online. Pay attention to that. Some of y'all, right? You need to you need to get off of that shit. Some of y'all, you know, check up your backups. Uh, make sure you got everything going. Um... Uh, all your, you know, safeguards up, all that good stuff. King of Pentacles. It, it's like you're ready to do something. You're ready to get out there, but you're just kind of waiting. Some of y'all, you're the catcher. You're that King of Pentacles. King and Queen of Pentacles have the built-in stability, okay? So you are kind of, uh, you could be a target for some negativity. We got the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords. Yeah, okay. Uh... Stick to yourself. Do you fill your own fucking cup? Fill your own fucking cup. Four swords. Take it easy. Ace of swords. Truth coming in. Communication. Nine of wands. Um, after the nine of wands, we got the ace of wands. So look at that. What's this tell you here, Scorpio? The Four of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So, take it easy, take a rest. Clarity is coming, right? Get out there, do you. You got your protection up, right? You're, you're, you're being very mindful and being very uh, cautious, in a sense, for, for better lack of word. And here's that Ace of Wands. You are going to get the guidance that you need. It's just up to you to get in the right energy space in order to receive the divine help. That's being sent to you. This feels like keep it to yourself. Uh, Scorpios. And trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. What, what bridges these two? What bridges these two? Please and thank you, Spirit. What bridges these two energies? Please and thank you, Spirit. What bridges these two energies for Scorpio? Okay, you seen that pop and I wanted to come out. Nine of Swords. So um, I don't I don't feel this is your energy. I feel your actions though, Scorpio, is what's gonna be important here. We had two that come out. The lovers in reverse and the tower in reverse. You uh you avoid this energy right here when you stop giving to a situation. The lovers in reverse and the towers in reverse. So a lot of you, this is pull your energy back. Give to yourself instead of giving to situations. Especially if you know there's kind of like no resolution in sight, okay? Uh, the lovers here in reverse, the tower here in reverse. That's that nine of swords energy. Nine of swords, ten of cups, whoever the hell you're dealing with. Uh, ten of cups there, we'll work love life on that, guys and gals. This could be close friends, family, whatever the hell. You're not in this energy. You're not going to be in this energy when you remove yourself from the equation. You know what I mean? Spirit's going to give you. The guidance that you need, that nine of wands there to bring in that sort of action that's needed to be taken. Being proactive. Four of swords there with that ace of swords. Take it easy on yourself. Get the rest that you need. Keep yourself in, in that sort of protective energy, restful energy, relaxed energy. Clarity is coming. Pray on it. Pray on it. You avoid the tower when you avoid this sort of lover's situation. For any of you, that that's friends, family, work, whatever the hell it is. This is partnerships that aren't to your higher good. A lot of you staying away from anything that puts you in a negative mindset. Okay? It's kind of like you get that reversal of energy when you put up your blinders and you put up your, your, your sort of defense mechanisms you use to... Uh, remove yourself from people places and things a lot of you 
Get off of social media. Do what you got to do. Don't worry about it. When you don't worry about it, when you understand how to navigate your situation, that's when you send that energy back to others, right? Don't let this shit come towards you. Because if you go towards this person, you're just going to end up in a tower moment. Some of you, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Whatever your situation is, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Sit your ass down and wait for divine guidance. Wait for divine clarity. Enjoy that divine protection. You'll know when it's time to move forward. You'll know when it's time to move forward, Scorpio. So, keep that in mind, Scorpios. I love that. Give to yourself, y'all. Get your ass off social media. Don't let people know what's up and don't worry about... Uh, trying to get the reconciliations or, or worrying about love at this point in time, especially if there's any sort of conflict of interest there, conflict of emotions. Um, don't do it. It, it. That feels like a third party type energy. But if you allow yourself to get into that energy and you don't temper it, give to yourself, pull that energy back and give it to yourself, then you could end up in a sort of tower moment. You know what I mean? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. I love that for you, Scorpios. I love that for you. Peace, love, and light.